What's up Kit Kats? Today I am going to be reviewing a Sailor Moon wig that I got from Wig Supplier, also known as La Male Wigs. A while back I purchased from this company, I bought a Akko wig from Little Witch Academia and I wasn't super happy with it. I did review it. Um, my review is up on this account. If you want to go watch it, I'll link it down below. When deciding that I wanted to cosplay Usagi Sailor Moon, I did a lot of looking around because I wanted to find a good wig. And I saw some reviews that I'd bought from wig supplier, LaMail Wigs and the wigs looked really nice so i decided to give them another chance and now i am going to review the wig that i got i ordered my wig on september 14th and i received it on the 27th so as far as shipping goes really fast and obviously they do let you know when the wig is being shipped and they send you a tracking number. The price for this wig after shipping and everything else was included was $47.91. Definitely not a bad price. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the wig on a wig head first and then I will put it on so you can see it on an actual person. This is the wig and I have seen from another video that I believe you can actually take the wig apart and kind of like, you know, reassemble it and everything. I am not planning to do that. I really love the color. It is listed as being yellow, but obviously this is more of like a kind of yellowy blonde, but it's not like an unnatural yellow. Like it's not like this yellow, which I like. I don't like like that highlighter yellow on like me. I prefer like the blonde. It looks a lot more natural in my opinion. I really love the style. There's you know, some little stray hairs, but that's gonna happen. It's a long wig. Um, all I really need to do is, you know, brush through it, hairspray, whatever, um, to kind of keep it all nice and neat. The only negative that I have is that it doesn't have the little comb in the front, which a lot of wigs do have. This does not, but it does have the little belts in the back. So that helps to uh, keep it on your head. So um, I would say, you know, lots of bobby pins. And also they make these wig grip headband things that I've seen. And they're on Amazon for like $8. So I actually am probably going to get one of those because I know that it will help this stay on my head. Overall, like I'm really happy with it. I think the style is beautiful. It doesn't feel cheap. And I wouldn't say that it's overly shiny either. Like, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but I don't think that it's like a bad thing. Like, it looks like a, like a nice sheen. I am gonna go stick this on my head. And I will do a little more talking about it. And you'll get to see it on an actual person. And now, in the name of the moon, I will punish you. This is the wig on. I did have to put a little bit of gel on my hair because my hair in the back likes to kind of peek out. And you can see a little, a little tiny bit of my hair, just like the very, very bottom because of the way this wig is made. But it's not too, too bad. And honestly, I think what I might do, maybe take a little bit of like hair and like sew it into the back so there's like little strands in the back to kind of cover the little bit of my hair that does show. Obviously like with this wig you will need bobby pins, you will need things to secure it on your head otherwise it is going to slide off. But I'm happy with the way it fits. If you're someone with a very very large head though, like generally like wigs from China you cannot fit on your head like at all, I would not go for this wig because I think it's probably going to be too small. If that's not an issue, I do think that this is a great Sailor Moon wig and I'm really happy that I decided to give wig supplier LaMail wig another go and 
decided to get this wig. Obviously there are some things that I want to do, like I want to kind of curl these bits and kind of... The bangs are actually... I don't think they're a bad length, but I kind of want to curl them a little bit maybe. Maybe do a slight little trim to some pieces. Overall, I'm very, very happy with this wig. I hope that this wig review was helpful to anyone out there who is thinking about getting a Sailor Moon wig. And yeah, that's my video for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you are not subscribed, but you would like to be, if you like nerdy content, cosplay, whatever, I try to make a video every single week. Obviously, you know, with my work schedule, sometimes that does not happen, but I've been pretty consistent. You can subscribe if you are into nerdy cosplay adventures, whatever. And of course, ring the bell to be notified every single time I make a video. And as always, I will catch you later. Bye meow!